Hello guys, this is your host Ali Raza and today we would be talking about box and whiskers plot. So the mode would be that how a box plot is constructed and how the data is depicted through box plot using Python programming language and using actual data. So let's get started. Here first let's let's cover the basic terminologies and and you know uh, let's have a bird's eye view of this particular box plot so you can see this this part is basically the box and this particular part is the whisker that's why it's called box and whiskers plot so let's let's talk about how what are the main terminologies and how the data is distributed in five parts or represented by five values which is minima q1 q2 q3 and maxima so what we what we do is that we calculate first of all for example we have this particular data all right and then what we would do is we would take the median of this so for calculating so these are the quartiles all right the so q1 is the first quartile q2 is the second quartile and q3 is the third quartile and this this is often termed as the 25th percentile 75th percentile sorry this is the 50th percentile and this is the 75th percentile and this is how you know it it shows the spread or distribution of the data and that's why box and whiskers plot is uh, very much used by the data analysts and statisticians so so consider this point uh, these these this set of points and you know know that this is these points are in ascending order so the lower is on the left and the higher is on the right so first of all uh, let's take the median so we are trying to calculate q2 which is the median of the overall data so i think five points are here and and five points so this might be termed as the median of the overall data which is basically q2 okay so now what this point q2 did is or the median of this of this whole data what this point did is that now we have got this two parts of our data so this is the left half and this is the right half and so now what we would do is we would consider these both half as an as individuals and then take the respective medians so let me show you what i'm talking about so for for example consider this half uh, so the first half the median of this first half would be this point the middle point and we would term it as q1 similarly the second part second half so yeah this is the median this is the point q3 so in this way we are able to calculate these three points these three quartiles q1 q2 and q3 and as you may have guessed so now we can make a box outline by following these lines so this is the so this is the outer line and this is the middle line so this is the middle line q2 and this is q1 and q3 all right so we have got q1 q2 and q3 which are the quartiles and so now we have got so so these quartiles distribute our data into four parts how so let me write this down here this is the first part this is the second third and fourth and therefore you know this th this is why it they are termed as quartiles all right so coming back to this this box plot so we do see that you know we have got the minimas and maximas also and make sure that you do understand that this maxim maxima is not the actual maximum value 
of our data rather it's a calculated value let me show you what do i mean by this so this value is calculated by so first of all we need to know what is uh, the iqr which is the interquartile range so iqr is basically the spread of this box where you know all the major part of the data is concentrated and this is the spread of that spread of the main data and which is from q1 to q3 which is termed as iqr so basically iqr the range would be calculated as q3 minus q1 q3 minus q1 so this is the higher value q3 we would minus with the this value so we would get this part all right so this is the iqr interquartile range so this this helps us this interquartile range helps us to uh, find out the outliers or very far off points whether they are on the higher side on the lower side so let me show you how so first of all we need to calculate a threshold point or the maxima and as well as the minima so these, these are the threshold points beyond which we would consider the actual data points as outliers so how this maxima is calculated so we uh, so we would do q3 which is this point and we would go how much beyond q3 q3 plus iqr into 1.5 so 1.5 times of iqr so this is how maxima or max value is calculated again th since this is a calculated value it, it doesn't normally means or generally speaking that you know all the points are covered some points would remain actual data points would remain beyond this this particular maxima like for example i've got these two years and these two would be considered as outliers all right so similarly same is the case with on the left side that you know on the this minima is calculated since this beyond q1 so we would take q1 minus minus y because we are going on the left here we were going beyond q3 so we did plus q3 here we are going on left so q1 minus the criteria is same iqr into 1.5 so we would go 1.5 times of iqr and then we would mark this value and beyond this uh, point if, if we have got any actual data points like for example here here so again these would be considered as outliers so these are the outliers on the minimum side these are the outliers on the maximum side so this is how a box plot is depicted and how the what what are these are the terminologies and these this is how you know actually we deconstruct a box plot and this is how we calculate all the values and you know all the terminologies and all the jargons are covered here so now uh, what we would do is we would implement this particular box plot by depicting an actual data set and we would see how it looks like so let's jump there now we would be implementing this particular box plot on an actual data set which is related to income prediction so let's get started so now uh, in front of us we have got Jupyter Notebook and here we can write the Python code so the library which we would be using is pandas pandas is basically a very helpful library for data analytics and several machine learning and you know pre-processing is done via using pandas so it's a it's a package of Python it can be installed by, by writing pip install pandas so I've already done that so let me import pandas import pandas and and i would call it as pd so this is an alias so so from now on uh, in this notebook i would be referring referring pandas as pd all right so this is imported now let's take data frame df equals to we would reuse pd dot read csv function so now what we are doing is we are importing a data set so i've already downloaded a data set income underscore data which is which which constitutes of some data points regarding income prediction so i will show you but first of all let me import it so and and 
this particular data set this particular csv is in the same folder where my notebook is so i'll just write the name it's income underscore data dot csv so it's not date it's all right so now let's df dot head so this is the data set which we are looking forward to and you know we would work on box and whiskers plot so we can see that we have got these columns age work class education marital status and so on and so forth and just to check the d types which is the data types so what we can do is df dot types here and now we have got types of the each column so we can see age is end some of the columns other are object which are which is categorical variable and then hours per week we have got which is again integer so let's let's move on and we can do is we can use df which is a data frame and we would write box plot so this is this is what we are doing is this data frame pandas has got data frames and data frames has got built-in function to draw the box plot and we need to specify the column which we are interested in column equals so for now I would be passing age so let's see how it looks like great so now we have got this box plot and we can already see we have got some outliers here and this is the these are the five points minima q1 q2 q3 and the maxima and so first uh, so let's for the sake of orientation like we have this idea so let's do this df dot box plot and then column again column equals to age and let's change it to the horizontal so vertical equals to false so now we have got this horizontal orientation okay so now let's consider and if we if we you know look back to the actual the way we depicted so this is this point q2 was our median and we will check it in in this notebook also to so this q2 is median and then we have got q1 and q3 also which are the percentiles 25th percentile 75th percentile so let's check again moving back to the notebook so first of all i'll go ahead and check if i can 37 so we have got the median of the overall age is 37 so this is round about you can see here so this is 37 so this is the middle point of q2 now for these points let's see the statistics and we can calculate the statistics of the overall data frame by using df dot describe describe so what df dot describe does is calculates all the statistics of the numerical variables so we have got age and hours per week but we are interested in uh, age so let's see the 25th percentile lies at 28.0 so the 25th percentile is uh, our assumption is that this is q1 let's verify our assumption so this q1 should lie on 28 and yes this is around about 28 and the 75th percentile this q3 let's see so age column and 75th percentile is 48.0 and so you see we've got this 48.0 so this is how uh, we see that you know q1 q2 and q3 are constructed and so this is how you know we can using an actual data set we can see that you know uh, how age is distributed and what's the spread and you know you, we can see here that we have got some of the outliers on the higher side of the age which is also here also so these are the points beyond 
द मैक्सिमा दीज आर द पॉइंट बिहाइंड बियॉन्ड द मैक्सिमा सो इफ आई शो यू अगेन सो इन आर सो सो दीज लाइक दीज वर द पॉइंट्स बियॉन्ड द मैक्सिमा सो दिस दिस इज मैक्सिमम वैल्यू एंड देन दीज आर द आउटलायर्स सो लेट मी स्विच बैक टू द नोटबुक सो सो वॉट वी डिड वॉज इन टूडेज लेक्चर दैट वी फर्स्ट सो दैट हाउ आर बॉक्स प्लॉट लुक्स लाइक वॉट आर द टर्मिनोलॉजीज हाउ इट्स कंस्ट्रक्टेड वॉट ईच एंड एवरी टर्मिनोलॉजी मीन्स द फॉर्मूलाज द इंट्यूशन बिहाइंड दैट एंड देन वी इम्प्लीमेंटेड दिस एक्चुअल डेटा सेट एंड वी इम्प्लीमेंटेड अ बॉक्स प्लॉट आउट ऑफ इट ऑन द एज कॉलम सो दिस इज इट फ्रॉम मी थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग